in this video you will see how you can redirect multiple urls on your wordpress site at once this is important when you are changing the permalink structure on your wordpress site because if you want to redirect the urls one by one it will take a long time so this will be helpful for you so let's start for this we will use a free plugin called redirection and one more thing if you are already using the rank math wordpress seo plugin or some other seo plugin then you will have the uh, redirection option on that plugin already like you can see here i am using rank math seo for this site so i can add the redirection so if you are not using any seo plugin then you can use the redirection plugin this plugin is free and the process is same for the redirection plugin and the rank math seo plugin so let's start with the redirection plugin let's see the scenarios i am going to explain in this video you can see here that the existing permalink structure is with the year the month and the day and after that post name and i want the permalink structure to this so we need to redirect this structure to this and the other structure we are going to discuss is this you can see that on the existing permalink structure i have category the username and the post name so i just want to change the permalink structure to the post name or you can also change the permalink structure to the category name and the post name so we'll see the both so let's get started so for this we will add a free plugin on our website redirection because some of you may not using any seo plugin and just want the redirection on the site so this will be good actually so let's search for redirection on the wordpress plugin section and install this plugin after installing activate the plugin now you can see here please complete the redirection setup you can do it like start the setup monitor permanently change in your wordpress poster pages you can enable this because this is helpful if you are changing any permalink for a post then it will monitor it and will ask you to redirect set up the redirection for that post but this is for the individual post so when you are changing a word on a link or maybe it later on a permalink that's it now continue the setup finish the setup finished that's it so we don't need this okay so here we will add the redirection so first see the structure we have so if you go to the so now you can see on our site it has the permalink with the year month and the post name so if you see here if you click here so you can see the permalink is the year month and the post name we just want to remove that this we need to first set up the permalink to the post and save it so now we need to set up the redirection so that the, the urls with this text with this year and month goes to the new permalink we just saved so now let's set up the structure so now go to tools and redirection i can close this okay here we need to set up the redirection just click on add new we will do the redirection with regex regular expression because we do not want to set up the redirection for all the posts we have on the site we will just tell him that this is our previous structure and this is our current structure so that's it so for this you need to check the regex here now source url so what is the source url for the source url we do not need to mention the domain we just need to start with a forward slash and because we have the month here you can see for the first scenario we have the Oh, we can check it here we have the year and month so first we have to tell him that first we have four numbers for numbers we have to do this like zero two nine and zero to nine means that it will understand that 
this area is for number so we are doing it for the year section on the url how many numbers so we have only four numbers because on the year we have four numbers and now this ends this section ends now we need to do the month this for 08 so we will do again 0 to 9 and how many numbers we have two numbers okay and we have to end the end this portion with this backslash and now we have the post we have the post name so for the text group we can do this like with the bracket and dot star and question mark and end the bracket and you can put one forward slash it's optional but it is like recommended so this is our url structure the previous url structure this is for the year this is for the month like this is for the month and this is the post name and this actually this is a group we will use this group we will use this group to the target url so for this we need to put this forward slash and because we have only one group we can just put here dollar and one so it will understand that the that this is the old url and this is the new url so if you find any urls with this please redirect all the urls to this that's it add redirection so our redirection is set up now we need to copy this i'm copying this and if we go to the home page and again open the page you'll see that this is the uh, current structure of our URL. so what happens if we open a new private window and paste the old url here and go so you can see it is going to the new structure automatically how because we have set up the redirection here and if we refresh you will see that it has one hit because we have tried it in this incognito tab so that's it in this way you can set up the redirection and if you have some more text some category or some days of the month then you can just use these things like this is for numbers this is for numbers this is for numbers and this is for the text group so we will see more text groups in the video so now let's see the scenario to we have like the current structure we have this we will set up to this so first let's change those url structure permanent structure so the current url structure we have like custom so the category the author and the post name and save it so if we go to the home page if we open any of the post you will see the category the user the home page so what i want to do i will just remove the admin or i can remove the admin and the category also whatever you like and our new structure will be the domain name and the post name so let's do this for this first we will change it to post name save and now let's see if this works now in a private window incognito tab paste this and go to this it will go to the 404 page 404 page because we did not set up the redirection so now open tools redirection we do not need this redirection anymore we can disable this and we need to set up a new redirection here so for this we will do like this is the forward slash and we have the 
category so category is text so we, we need to do this dot star question mark and close this and end this so this is for the first text that is the category here and next the author so we need to put a for slash and what we can do we can just copy this thing because everything is text here so next thing is this is for the author the second text of the url and when we can paste it again this is for the post name you can see here we do not need this because this is the last group of the url so this is it so this is the we old url structure and we must select the regex here the regular expression so how do you want it like if you want the only the post name so we can just do that or also we can do the category so we will see the both let's first see the post name only so let's just put here slash dollar this is the third group because the post name is the third part of the url okay just you can just forget the domain name here because the domain name will be same post name is the third part of the url so this is the third group so we want the post name only so we need to put dollar and three add redirection so it is added here you can see here so now if we go to the 404 it will go to this page so it is working perfectly one more thing we can do we can try actually so if you want to add the category name here like the category category and the post name like let's open a new tab so if you see here this is the, it it has the category and the post name so what we need to do we need to go to tools and redirection and edit this and because the category is the first group of the url so we need to put here category like dollar one one for the first group and for slash this is the category name and this is the post name and save it so just copy this and open a private window paste it here so you can see here it is going to the new url we have set the category name and the post name all the urls you have shared on different social media platforms anywhere it will redirect to the new structure you have set you do not need to set up the redirection for all the posts you have this is very much helpful and you need to do this for once i also have a post for this on my website positivegeek.com you will find the link on this video description you can check this out if you like this video please subscribe to the channel thank you